Hello, my name is Sonia Leterio, and I have my daughter Dahlia here to help me out with this lesson. Hi. Okay, so Dahlia, we're going to practice our R's and our L's, the sounds and how we make them in our mouths. Okay, I know you know how to do them, but let's just pretend you, you don't know how. Okay, then we're just pretending. Okay, so I'm assuming you know, we're assuming that she knows the sound to the letter correspondence already and that it's all correct. Uh, so what we're first going to do is work on teaching placement. So, Dahlia, do you know where your tongue goes when you make the R sound? Where does it go? Do you know? Do you think you know? Can you describe it? Is it at the top? Is it at the bottom? Or is it somewhere in the middle? Oh, you think it's at the bottom. Okay, when we make the R sound, I'm going to show you this picture. When we make the R sound, our tongue is in the middle, closer to the top, not touching the bottom. It would be very hard to say the R sound with the bottom, with your tongue touching the bottom. So I'm going to model it to you. I'm going to show you, okay? So it looks like this. R. R. Can you see where the bottom of my mouth is? Yeah. And the top? You see what it looks like when my tongue yeah. is touching the top? Yeah. You see what it looks like when my tongue is touching the bottom? Okay, now listen to me say R. 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 That, that sounds really Okay, you try it. Let me see you say R. R. Yeah, good, good. Okay, so what we call that is you have to lift your tongue. Okay, you have to lift your tongue. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do this little trick. Get your lollipop. This is going to help you show placement. I would have a flat lollipop for this, but this is all we have. So I want you to put this in your mouth. I want you to put this in your mouth and put it to the top of your mouth. And it's in the top. And it's in the top. Now say R. 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 Is your tongue touching the lollipop? Does it like brush against the lollipop when you say it? A little bit. R. 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 Okay. So it's not resting on the lollipop. You can eat some. It's not resting on the lollipop, but it's brushing the top of the lollipop. Just a little bit. Try it one more time. Arr. Arr. Yeah, and your tongue is lifted. Okay, good job. There's one strategy there. Now, what we're going to do, since you can say the R sound, is we're going to practice the L sound. Where's our tongue when we say L? It's a little bit different. It's lifted, but a little different. The tip of the tongue touches right behind your teeth. Oh. Can you see? Oh. Oh. Look at this picture here. So we did R's. This is L. See how the L is touching the top. Now, put your lollipop down. I have another trick to learn this. Get your other candy. You're going to put it at the top of your mouth, right at your teeth. You're going to hold it up there with your tongue like this. Huh? Uh-huh. Put it behind your teeth. Uh-huh. You're going to hold it there. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's how we make the L sound, okay? Okay, let's put that down. You can eat it in a second. Okay, so we sh I showed you the picture, we practiced. Um, now we're gonna do a shaping exercise, okay? So what I want you to do is we're gonna say one sound and then the R. So it's gonna sound like this. It's gonna go g g g er. Okay, so you try it. Let's try it together. G g g. Err. Did your tongue ever go down? Uh, no. no, your tongue stayed up. Huh? Your tongue stayed lifted. Good I job. Had to think. You had to think about it? Well, that's good. 
Okay, now let's try it with the L's. Now I want you to say N, 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 L. Did your tongue ever go down? Did your tongue drop? Or did it stay lifted? Lifted. Good job. Where's your tongue when it when you say the L sound? Where, where does your tongue touch? Here. Yeah. What about the R? Where should your tongue be in your mouth when you say the R? In the kind of in the middle going back, huh? Yeah. A little bit back. Okay. Good job. Now you've done so good with that. We're going to practice syllables. Okay. So we're going to do the R first. R sound and then a vowel. So it's going to sound like this. Ra. Ro. Re. Re. Uh, ru. Re. Good job. Good job. Um, what do you feel in your mouth when you're saying it? Ra. Is your tongue going down? Yeah. Ra. Oh, when you end with the A, huh? Yeah. Your mouth, your mouth opens a little bit. Yeah. But when you say the R, is it starting down or is it starting up? It's starting. Okay. All right. I like that. Now let's do the L's. Let's do some syllables with L's. Let's say la, la. le, le. li, le. lo, lo. Lu. lu. Good job. Okay. So that's practicing syllables because you did so good with saying the sounds in isolation. Then we could do sounds with syllables. Now we're going to do something else. This is more challenging. We're going to say three words. Yay. Okay, three words. So I want you to say car, rat, car. Car, rat, car. Can you say a little bit quicker? Car, rat, car. Good job. Good job. Now can you say, let's see, let's try these ones. Let's see, which ones is it? Fur, ran, fur. Try it again. Fur ran fur. Fur ran fur. Okay, you're good at that. What about this one? Four rug four. Good job. Good job. Okay. Well, so what did we work on? We worked on placement of our R's and placement of our L's, where we put our tongue in our mouth when we say them. And we could say them in isolation, the sound by itself. We could say them in syllables, and uh, we practice saying them um, with the sound in the first initial placement of the word. You did a good job. Thank you for helping me out, Dahlia. You can eat your candy now. Okay, uh, that was my um, presentation. Thank you very much. <laughs>